Welcome to the lesson on ecosystems. At the end of this lesson, we will learn about what is an ecosystem, the types of ecosystems such as man-made and natural. Why is the concept of ecosystem important in our studies? What are producers, consumers and decomposers? How to reduce ecosystem problems? Dad, there was a TV program today called Ecosystem Problems. What is an ecosystem, Dad? Let me give you an example. Tell me, what does this garden have? The garden has bushes, flowers, trees, grass and the pond. It also includes birds, frogs in the pond, sunlight, the rain. That's true. It includes a lot more. Visitors like us, the gardener, dogs, etc. Correct. This is the ecosystem of the garden. An ecosystem means a complete system including all members of the system. A garden is a man-made ecosystem. Can you think of more such man-made ecosystems? Hmm, an aquarium? Correct. There are two types of ecosystems, man-made and natural ecosystems. Can you name some natural ecosystem? The forest, sea. Very good. We all fear tigers. But do you know what would happen if there were no tigers in the forest? Deers would eat away all the greenery. Correct. All members are important to make an ecosystem successful. We all feel hot in the summer, but can we survive without the sun? No. That is why it is important to have an ecosystem that is well balanced. Take another example. We create so much garbage in the garden. What happens if we do not have someone to clean the garden? The garden would be dirty and lose its charm. We would stop coming here. Correct. We need a balanced ecosystem. Consider the tree, the birds and the bacteria in the soil. Does the tree eat food? No. Correct. The tree uses sunlight, the water and other raw materials to make its own food through a process called photosynthesis which means the tree produces its own food. The tree can therefore said to be a producer. What is a consumer? Who eats the plants? The birds, the animals such as rabbit. Good. They are called consumers. Those who eat producers are called consumers. This is simple. Those who make their own food are called producers. Those who live on producers are called consumers. Finally, we have the decomposers, like bacteria and fungus. Look at that branch that has fallen off. Do you think it will remain like this if the gardener does not take it away? No. Fungus, mushroom and bacteria will eat away the branch. Good. This process of bacteria and fungus eating away is called decomposition. They are therefore called decomposers. The bacteria and fungus thus play an important role of disposing garbage. So, an ecosystem is when it has producers, consumers and decomposer. Correct. Consider the tree, the birds and the bacteria in the soil. Does the tree eat food? No. Correct. The tree uses sunlight the water and other raw materials to make its own food through a process called photosynthesis, which means the tree produces its own food. Do you know we have caused great pollution in air and water? Yes, like factories emitting a smoke in the air, like disposing garbage in the seas and river. Correct. These have polluted the earth and the ecosystem is losing its balance. Now tell me, how can we help in reducing this pollution? Use plastics less often. Use cars 
less often to reduce smoke. Use pollution-free energies like wind energy. Good boy. At the end of this lesson, we are able to understand the ecosystem is made up of all members necessary for a system. Ecosystems cannot survive without some members such as the sun. Producers are like trees that make their own food. Consumers are like rabbits that get their food from producers. Decomposers like fungus that help in decay of waste.